Hi everyone, welcome to episode 6 of uh, Road to Gold, Combat Knife. In this, we're on Gradaza Raid, and we're going to be knifing Ender Domination. Uh, so let's get right into it. But before we do, I just want to get into uh, some other things about the channel and where it's going to be heading in 2020, uh, and what to expect going forward. So right now, as you probably saw there, we're at uh, 972 subs. And we're very close to that thousand sub threshold. So, if you want to, please do share this video. Please uh, get your friends to subscribe, family to subscribe. Like I mentioned, if anyone in your family likes knives, I mean, this series is perfect for them. Knives galore. You've got throwing knives. You've got knives, <laughs> combat knives. But anyways, yeah. So uh, get uh, everyone to subscribe. Get everyone to like. Get everyone to comment. That being said. Uh, where are we going in 2020? Well, in 2020, I, I plan on uh, wrapping up the content because I, I want to make sure that uh, I'm uploading pretty much every day. My goal in 2020 is going to be to upload one video a day for the rest of the year. So if you want Call of Duty content, if you want gaming content, um, if you're here for Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I will be doing some campaign uh, of the Hidden Blade as well as Atlantis, and I still have to beat Medusa in that game, so I'll be doing that. Uh, yeah, so in this series, if you haven't been here before, I've been knifing since 2007's Modern Warfare came out. That's actually how I got my name, or my clan tag rather. Uh, I used to just go by Achilles, and then I added the melee at the end and uh, added the clan tag of melee as well because we created a clan just purely on knifing people and we did that during uh, scrim matches with other clans it was a lot of fun and uh, we kept the tag going well i kept the tag going everyone else has pretty much taken it off but i still do get to play with uh, some of those guys once in a while uh, yeah so that's that and as you can see the gameplay i am voicing this one over uh, as i mentioned in a previous video I will be uh, doing the commentary live, so you get a, a more insight into how I think and, and what I do uh, when I'm playing these matches. But mainly the, the idea behind my knifing uh, versus those that use shields, like this guy with the riot shield behind him, um, and throwing knives only, is I, I like to be more visceral. I, I don't. I don't like to sit there and, and camp and annoy people uh, other than with my knife. Uh, I think riot shields are just annoying in general. So I don't like using them. Uh, I just like running after people and just knifing them. Oh man, I missed like so many there. I missed the throwing knife and I missed the slice and dice. It's okay. As I mentioned previously as well, it's not that glamorous when you see all of the... Um, the whole match basically without any edits and a lot of people on YouTube or a lot of uh, knife only people on YouTube or I guess even on Twitch uh, on Twitch I guess they don't really edit their gameplay but on YouTube they definitely do and it's just makes it look like they're just pro at knifing when in fact they're not uh, they're just running around getting killed and getting kills but also Editing out all the deaths and then just putting in the the kills. I guess it's entertaining for some for me personally Not so much because I like to see everything I like to see how the person reacted to certain situations in order to figure out how best to go around knifing and Personally for me, I, I've found the best way to do it is to have the dead silence perk tune up to get it going quickly and as much mobility as you can possibly get with your primary to ensure that you're running at like breakneck speed and then if you can uh, attach an attachment that gives you melee quickness like the the heavy hitter or something uh oh no heavy hitter gives you harder hit on uh on melee but uh there's there's some attachments that do give you faster melee i, I like to use those as well just to make my slices a lot faster uh because the time to kill in Modern Warfare 2019 is a lot faster than it used to be. You pretty much die within like three or four hits to the chest, depending on the weapon that's being used. And if it's a shotgun, I mean, they could just be sitting across the map and shoot you and you're dead. Uh, yeah, so 
back to, I know I've been ranting a bit about random things, but uh, I didn't know what else to talk about in this video because it is coming to the end of 2019 and uh, we're going to be done a decade of gaming uh, fairly quickly here. I am working on a video uh, on the decade that has passed, so since 2010 to 2020, basically to the end of 2019. This is pretty funny. This was awesome. This guy got so scared, he just he just RPG'd me in the face. He just he was just like, nope, I'm done. Uh, uh, yep, I'm not gonna let you knife me. I'm gonna kill myself. That, that's what that was his plan. It worked. I mean, he got the kill and killed himself. <laughs> so yeah, uh, for Garaza raid. I think the best way to get through the map in order to knife is to not go through the center and um, ideally you want to go through the sides like this and you want to go into buildings as quickly as possible because the sight lights are just crazy on this map they can shoot you from across the map like this is really bad you want to be inside there I would I would have rather I ran into that building uh, and go up construction rather than running out here but that's why you have a smoke to cover your tracks and that was close i wish i'd gotten that kill but i didn't um but yeah uh so as i was saying the the best way to do it is to run through these sides and not go through the open areas but that's what i, I think in general under this cod title you don't want to run through sight lines or through open spaces because if you do you are going to get destroyed I, I don't know if anyone here has seen the video that was on Reddit by somebody who posted it. I forget who it was, but it was hilarious. He's just like crossing the street in Warden Warfare, and he's in Gernaza Raid. He looks out, checks to see if there's anyone on the streets or anything. Doesn't see anyone. Soon as he leaves cover, gets shot from five different sides and is dead. So that's that's Gernaza Raid in a nutshell. You don't want to go out. Well, I don't know why I wasted my smoke there. That was really bad. Um, ideally, you don't want to waste your smoke. You want to keep it as long as you can. So you only get one. And you want to make sure you use it in a situation like here. Like, I could have used it here to cover my uh, crossing of the playground. Because the playground is a dangerous place. They could be sitting up top uh, in the broken building and just shoot you. And in here, I think there was a guy camping here that killed me. Nope. Oh, hello. I've also uh, been toying with the idea, I, I, actually I wanted to run this by you guys, uh, of doing executions only videos. Uh, I've been enjoying doing that as well while I've been waiting to get all these videos out for knife only before I can do the live commentary. So. Let me know, actually, in the comment section below if you'd be interested in just <laughs> executions only videos and gameplay, because it's a lot of fun, especially when people don't realize that you're executing their teammate right next to them, and then you execute them after as well. Um, that's one of the, the biggest takeaways that I've got for Modern Warfare 2019 so far is that people are very tunnel visioned in this game you can that's why knifing seems to work like this guy like there's no way i should be able to get that close and kill him and even this guy he just ran in and just boom dead um but yeah tunnel vision is the bane of the existence of many people in this game me included when i'm sniping or when i'm uh, essentially camping which i don't like to do often but once in a while i do just to get the kill streaks going and get those crazy kdas I mean, I've had 20 KDA in one game, and uh, that's because I got 20 kills without a single death, and I just camped with a shotgun for the entire match. Felt really bad, but I mean, that's what people do. It's really annoying. I've had to deal with uh, a few campers recently. At least one guy. He he did it really well. Uh, I even thought he might be hacking. It was it was done that well. Basically, he ran a. Uh, Dual, dual wield, or I don't know what the perk is called. Um, overkill? No, it's not called overkill. Whatever. The perk that lets you get two primaries. So he had two primaries, um, and one of them was a shotgun, the other was an M4. And he just sat, and he had claymores as, and shrapnel, I think, as his other perk, or tracker maybe. Actually, shrapnel, I think. And he just put down claymores, sat in a building killed people and he also had kill chain equipped so 
the kill streaks kills would result in him getting additional kill streaks. So that's the perk that lets you chain your kill streaks to add kills to your kill total to get the next kill streak. Uh, and his build was basically get UAV, then get uh, what did he get? He didn't get chopper gunner. He got yeah, he got chopper gunner, and then he got uh, the gunship. And it worked out really well because he sat in a building, waited for people to come and try to kill him. Nobody coordinated because it is Call of Duty. Nobody really coordinates. Uh, and he would just uh, sit there, kill people, get the first kill streak, use it. Just watch people coming in, kill them, and then get Chopper Gunner. As soon as he gets Chopper Gunner, he's guaranteed the gunship. Uh, I don't know why he had those two though, but I guess he's just mastered the art of camp to the extent that he doesn't really care anymore. Uh, that's my anecdote on a camper that I recently encountered, and we're getting close to the end of this match. I know I haven't really talked much about the knifing, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share this with your friends, don't forget to tell them to subscribe. Let's get to that thousand sub mark, let's grow the community, and let's, uh, let's keep knifing. And also let me know if you are interested in those takedown videos, because I do have a few recorded. I plan on uh, making a few more of those whenever I get into the mood of just doing takedowns. And uh, I am going to be making some videos on uh, how to rank up faster in this game as well. So thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day. I don't know if I've always said that, but I'm going to start saying that now. And uh, have a great 2020 if I don't post a video before then, but I plan to post one. So I'll see you in the next one.